it's a li uh, Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra, Virgo, Virgo. You know, you're both very much mirroring each other. You really are. You're mirroring each other. You're like a, a reflection of each other. So let's start your reading. And I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Virgo. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome back uh, to my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camp. And as I always say, please take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, sometimes could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality. I hope that's not shaking. Is that shaking? Seems fine. There we go. All right, so just give me a moment to take this in and I'll be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. So I'm going to start by just looking at the recent past. Like this person has, you're dealing with someone who you see, and this is how you're perceiving them. This is in your thinking. Uh, they've either reached a level of status financially, so they could be well off, uh, meaning they've put in hard work and now they've kind of, you know, reached a certain level where their income is, is you know, um, or they just reached a certain level of status within their career. And you're very highly attracted to them, highly attracted to them, strong attraction that you do have with them. And not to say that they don't with you as well. This person is thinking about involuntariness with the nine right there. So strong attraction that you have towards this person. I'm not sure whether it's to do with the fact that, you know, they've, you know, I mean, it's always nice. It's, it is, um, what's the, uh, what's the word? Alluring. Let's say that it is alluring when someone has, you know, it's not the fact that they've got a lot of money. It's the fact that, you know, they have what it took for them to get there. It's like what it took for them to get there. It's that admiration of that highly attracted towards this person. And then, and them seeming like, you know, not even so much seeming like them wanting to advance things with you, thinking about advancing things with you. But I will say they were going through a huge, huge transformation. I'm not sure where it bleeds uh, or, you know, if it's still present now, but definitely in the recent past, there's this, there was this huge transformation represented by the death card there, but still thinking about advancing things with you. You've got a crush on this person, <laughs> Virgo. You know, showing up as the page. Go crush on this person. Um, feeling sweet. They've, you know, caught your attention. You're highly attracted to them. Strong attraction there. And, you know, you, they consume your emotions. They consume your thought. Showing up as the page. But just looking at your challenge, we see the, the 10 and the ace there. So for me, it's like you're using this, and I want to try and put this the right way. You're using this as a reason to, because something's ended. Something's ended for you. I'm not sure how far in the past that ending took place, but definitely an ending there. And it seems like you're using this as an excuse to maybe move away from that or detach yourself from that. It seems like this person is, I'm going to use the word replacement, but I'm going to use the word replacement. It seems like this person is possibly a replacement for someone else. Not to say that you want that other person. That could, it could be the case. But it also could be the case that you've not taken the time to 
fully deal with the emotions and the uh, mental challenges that came with that and and looked at that and healed that and mended that and giving you enough time to be able to clear that space, clear that energy for you to then move into something else. feels like you haven't done that. So with that comes this using this person as maybe unbeknownst to you as well. This is done at a subconscious level is this replacement, if that makes sense. And I don't want to use the word replacement because it's not so much of a replacement, but it's more about them. You're not wanting to deal with this stuff anymore. This person's come along. You're attracted to them. And now it's like, okay, aha, I can now have something new and something fresh. But there's stuff that you've not dealt with that needs to be dealt with, especially if this is coming up in your challenge. They're coming up as a solution. The Ace of Blades, which talks about, I would say, a similar stance to you. And I'm not saying that this can't work. This connection can't work. It's, you're just where you're at. You're both just where you're at. It is what it is. Seems like they're you're you're kind of a solution to their stuff as well, you know, because there seems to be a queen of wands, and I feel like it's tied to this transformation, this death. They could have come out of something long term as well, something that had a huge impact on them for them to go through this type of transformation. Because this is big. This is a major arcana. This is the death card, and it seems like there's something to do with a queen of wands. And that kind of preventing them, just similar to you, it's like a mirror in each other. It's preventing them from really collaborating in a, in a truthful way, in a real way. As much as you both want to, there's just stuff that you both need to deal with. Past stuff. And, and you just need to clean it up, clear it up. And not use, because you're both doing it not use this as a band-aid so to speak or a distraction let's say that a distraction prematurely that's coming up on you prematurely maybe progressing this a bit too prematurely or maybe this connection is a bit too premature if there is such a thing yeah there's something that's still tied to the past someone yeah someone that Again, it's not necessary that they still want them, but there's there's definitely the Ace of Cups on top of that. That was there. Yeah. But it talks about still having emotions. Still having feelings. And that's pretty much why it's not good to enter. I mean, you can get to know each other in this space, but to actually enter into a commitment where you're both dealing with just past stuff or stuff that needs to be cleared up and cleaned up because what happens is it then has an effect on what you're both trying to build it's like trying to uh, you know tend to a garden and plant seeds in a soil that's not you know right for the seeds that are trying to be planted yeah do you see that slowing down this collaboration slowing down the collaboration and for you too, it's similar to you too. Like I said, there's something that has ended. Not sure how far in the past for you, you know, this thing has come to an end. There we go, we've got three of cups there. So that solidifies uh, exactly what if you guys can see that saying. It's like you're both bringing other energies into this. Unbeknownst to you, simply because you both and it could simply be you met at a time. You, you happen to meet. You meet people where you meet. You know, but that's okay. That's okay. But it's however, let's say that, however, it's what you do with that. It's being able to, um, you know, see what needs to be done within yourself. It's like, am I ready? Is this right? Not, not I want to because there is attraction there. It's, am I ready to, especially if you want to take this seriously and it feels like you both do. You're wanting to just, again, it's this focus on coming together, but still moving ahead and still trying to come together. This person, this is, while they're still dealing with stuff regarding this Queen of Wands. And that's more about feelings, emotions, cleaning that up. You, 
you're still again it's 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 both of you you're both mirroring each other you're both doing the same yeah you've got there's acknowledgement for you though and it's you kind of process and you kind of are processing this because it's you know there is this acknowledged that something's come crashing down and i feel like it's to do with you know when someone else has come in the picture and it's like i no longer think about this other person anymore i no longer it seems like this no this person no longer has an effect on me so that's where that towel is coming from but it's never about the person isn't it you go from one relationship you do the same issues the same problems the same challenges kind of play out different faces same people if that's a that's the that is that if that's the saying is it same places you know same faces different different people or different people same faces it's the same you know you're still going to enter those things um and just wanted to move move forward with hope it's like you're hopeful for this now you both can make this work i'm not saying you can't make it work but there's some stuff you happen to meet at a time where you're both dealing with other stuff um and you're just on the cusp you're both on the cusp of using each other as an escape away from things that you need you know you need to deal with now usually at this point in the reading we move into part two get a fuller picture and see where this moves to you know see whether this person you know communicates what's going on for them because there's a lack of communication and meaning so we've got the seven of blades so there's things that are going on behind the scenes on your end their end that you're both not sharing with each other you're both not sharing those internal challenges at all with each other yeah so the question really is is how much of an effect does this person have how much does it slow this progress uh moving forward down and for you it's like okay well am i going to deal with what needs to be done so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love reading that's something that interests you as i say subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. <laughs> Bye.